Hi everyone, I'm James. I'm a guitar teacher and musician from Australia and I work on the guitar at Musician. What I do is make things that people play in the app and things that people learn from. So videos and songs and we record and write the songs as well. And we arrange things, um, you know, write down what notes you need to play and uh, organize the missions and the, the, you know, the syllabus structure, all that kind of stuff. My name is Velo. I'm a musician. I love to play guitar, love to write music. I love to try to help other people to do the same. I create content for the app, like transcribe music. I write the musical notation. Sometimes I record guitar parts, ukulele parts. I've been playing banjo and other instruments on tape as well. I talk to designers and coders and project managers. I am Sonia. I'm a singer a musician and uh, a teacher. A musician, I'm uh, the singing teacher. With the help of Arto, of course, we've built the, the voice learning path together. So everything you can sing through uh, in musician voice is done by me. I've helped with marketing, video producing, uh, localizing and translating the app to all the languages that we have there currently. I love photography. I do actually mostly film photography. I like to shoot everything on film and then go and develop it myself and then then hang out in the dark room and you know inhale all these chemicals and and you know try to get the best shots on paper. Uh, that's a lot of fun. I'm Artu. I'm one of the voice teachers here at Musician. With Sonia we did the voice syllabus and we've been doing the song exercises for you. And I've also done some of the piano stuff that you can play. Been working as a musician for 10 plus years, teaching and playing gigs. And recently I've also been behind the camera doing YouTube videos with Sonia. I'm Marcus. I'm the music producer at Musician. I started as a drummer, then I picked up the saxophone, some piano on the side, and then I like to record and mix and master music and write music as well. I uh, mostly provide the backing tracks for musician exercises, so I write most of the original content and then I produce and uh, record. Of course I work a lot in tandem with the other educators who kind of order suitable content and then we create songs that fit the needs that each instrument has and then I produce the song and you hear it in musician. I'm Jona. Uh, I'm a musician, I'm an educator, all around do-it-yourself person. I'm one of the uh, music educators. I've been mostly focusing on how to update our existing uke syllabus. So I'll be playing through songs, I'll be doing some research, um, talking to colleagues, trying to be as scientific as possible with um, different approaches, testing things out um, as quick as possible with actual students. I'm Joaquin. I joined Musician back in 2012. I'm a musician, I'm a music educator. I've been involved in a lot of content creation at Musician. So when I started, I started to started to develop the guitar syllabus and the guitar product. I've had my hands involved in pretty much all of the instruments at some point. We did the uke, the piano, bass, and then eventually the voice too. The easy one. Uh, it's stracciatella. It's the chocolate one, the Italian, that has chocolate chips in it. Like, that's my definite favorite. I love it. Dime ice cream. The one with the uh, almond chocolate. I love ice cream. I love chocolate. I, I love strawberry. I love raspberry and licorice and salty licorice. My favorite ice cream memory is licorice because as a kid I just used to think it was wonderful to get, you know, covered in black lips and tongue. Uh, I always liked that. It's this licorice raspberry vegan finish ice cream. Probably very hard to get anywhere else. Chocolate. Obviously chocolate. It's a boring answer, but it's the best. Well, the main instruments I play are guitar and then related things based in uke. I enjoy playing, you know, some drums and piano and other instruments too. I play the guitar and the uke and the bass. Um, I like playing the piano. I really enjoy 
playing the drums and percussions, especially like congas. I nowadays consider myself a singer too. Like when I started, when I was six, I played the cello, so that was my first instrument, my first love, and I played that for 15 years. I would still, but I don't sadly own a cello, but maybe someday I will. In addition to singing, I like to play the piano, and I also play a little bit of guitar, uke and bass, and the basic band instruments, drums. Drums are actually a lot of fun to play, but I'm really not that good. I also play some wind instruments. I used to be um, a brass player in my youth, so I used to play the trombone. So um, I haven't owned a trombone for a while now, but that's an instrument that I can play. My primary instrument would be the guitar, but also like drums. I s actually sing quite a lot. Voice, uke, drums, percussion, guitar, piano. Uh, is there something else? Bass, of course, yes. I've got a reasonable number of guitars, not too many. I try not to collect too many because it would be a bit crazy. But I like a nice range of, you know, some like classical and, and steel string and, and various different types of electric guitars. I'm often having to restrain myself from getting new ones. This is my favourite guitar. I had this one built for me by a uh, guitar maker in Sydney. Uh, it was fantastic. I love it. It's exactly perfect for me. People often comment that it looks dirty, but it's not. It's just that uh, it had this really nice thin finish on it because I like that feel and it wears out. And so all this is, you know, worn out wood from me playing it. And then a few dings and scratches. On here is where my son bit my guitar. My voice, of course, that is my, my main instrument. I have two basses and um, this here is the first one I ever got, it's my it's my father's old bass, roughly the same age as me. I love this one. It's it's so smooth and it has this really unique touch. A double bass, or upright bass as some would call it. That is a really cool one as well. It's a really big one. It's as tall as me and and uh, really fat and you know big and sounds awesome. Uh, a piano, an acoustic one. I have a uke, kind of a crappy one. Then I have two accordions, like old accordions that I just randomly found somewhere. Different types of flutes and whistles, acoustic guitar, and then I have an electric guitar as well. This guitar here is my, like, it's basically an integral part of myself. Uh, I have owned this for 32 years. So I have a Les Paul style of a guitar, a really nice scratch, an electric bass, a few ukuleles, an acoustic piano, acoustic guitar, and then I also have a 12 string guitar. Drum set and uh, all sorts of percussion, xylophone, four different sized saxophones, bass clarinet, flute, the normal flute and uh, alto flute, collection of ethnical flutes. I've been traveling in the Far East and getting all sorts of eth ethnical flutes from there. A piano at home and some electric pianos and keyboards. A guitar and a bass, but uh, I don't play them that much. I picked this strange thing because it is, um, as you can see, very lightweight. It's a Swedish guitar made by a guy named Ola Stramberg. It's a very sort of odd guitar, uh, almost in every way. At work I have to play a lot sitting down and the conventional guitar doesn't really lend itself well to that sort of application. Uh, this does and it's also a very good instrument. I have a uke, a couple of acoustic guitars, one electric guitar, a Portuguese guitar and a cavaquinho. Oh yeah, the bass is also at home. <laughs> yeah, like Eric Clapton has Blackie, his Stratocaster is called Blackie, I don't know, this could be Grey or something. Yeah, my piano is uh, made by Svenska Piano Fabrik, and so it's a Swedish piano factory, I've named the piano Gunilla. I keep on thinking I should name my guitars, and then each time I do, I'm never happy with the name. No, so unfortunately, I haven't named them. I remember which ones they are, and what they look like, and what they do, but uh, they haven't got names, sadly. The Stratocaster is called Avril. It's the Avri model, American vintage reissue, so Avril. My upright bass uh, is called Ella. None of the other ones do. I should maybe name this one. It doesn't have a name yet. Any suggestions? I got lots of hobbies that I really like. Um, one that I need to do more of is like woodworking stuff. I like making little things but I need to do it more and get better at it. 
I started renovating old houses. That's fun. Open ice swimming. I highly recommend it. So you make a hole in the ice and you go swim in it. What could be more fun? Horseback riding. I would love to start horseback riding. I love horses. Well, I think it's related to physical exercise. I will probably start a new kind of a way to keep myself fit. We just recently became the tenants of a, of a small plot in a, in a communal garden. So planning to plant a lot of vegetables and take care of them and hopefully reap what I saw. Something that I've never done before, maybe something creative, I have no idea, maybe pottery. My favorite instrument that I don't know how to play must be the banjo. I love all sorts of instruments. I would like to know how to play trumpet or French horn. There would be a lot of use for that. The saxophone. I always wanted to play the saxophone. <laughs> I really like the saxophone family. Uh, so I can get a sound out of a saxophone, but I really don't know how to play it properly. But then again, I really also love the string instrument, like violin family. I think I would probably pick cello. Clarinet or the trumpet? The clarinet is probably the instrument I would want to know how to play. There's probably others, but yeah. Tenor saxophone. Sounds so beautiful, like when you have the Finnish forest scenery and the tenor saxophone with the reverb, that's like the most beautiful thing. I have no idea how to play that. For some reason I have a thing for low frequencies. Well, well that's maybe also why I play the bass. But uh, I love instruments that make a warm and low tone and sound. And from the wind instrument family, from the brass instruments, the tuba, I love the tuba. I love the saxophone and especially the the baritone one, which is even even lower from the tenor saxophone, is, is beautiful. I think my favourite instrument that I don't know how to play would be voice. I'm really a pretty terrible singer and uh, I'd love to be a great singer, but I haven't put in the time yet and uh, one day I will. <laughs>